What's up guys, you're all here for Tech, and there are many smartphones in the budget category on the market offering different set of features, specs, and design. A Hong Kong-based smartphone company entered the Philippine market and brought their budget contender into space, and today we're gonna be checking out Infinix new addition to the budget category, the Infinix Note 8. <laughs> Opening up the box, we are greeted with the unit itself. Underneath that is some Infinix service card stickers. And underneath that is another box that contains the SIM ejector tool, a warranty card, a club registration pamphlet, a clear jelly case, and a screen protector. Underneath that box, you'll have the earphones, a USB Type-C cable, and an 18-watt charging brick. The first thing we noticed was that this device is tall which translates to a massive screen real estate, which is ideal for people who loves binge-watching contents on their smartphone. The rear looks stylish with its glass-like back finish with a geometric accent. It attracts fingerprints pretty easily, so we highly suggest using the clear case included in the box. The unit we have is in the deep sea luster colorway, but it is also available in Silver Diamond and Iceland Fantasy. Also at the back, we will find its quad rear camera setup and an Infinix logo. In the hands, it feels solid and somewhat premium with a little heft to it. Checking out the display, we have a huge screen measuring at 6.95 inches IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 720 by 1640, giving us a pixel density of 258 ppi. Situated on the top left corner of the display is a cutout for its dual selfie cameras. Located at the top is the earpiece, which is also one of your stereo speakers, which is a plus. On the right, we have the volume rockers along with its side-mounted fingerprint scanner that also acts as your sleep-wake button. Buttons are clicky, although the volume button's location is a little bit hard to reach, especially in one-handed operation or if you have small hands just like me. Situated on the left is a dual nano SIM card tray with a dedicated micro SD card slot. Nothing can be found on the top, while at the bottom you have your microphone for calls, a 3.5mm audio jack, a USB Type-C port, and one of your stereo speakers. Powering the Infinix Note 8 is a MediaTek Helio G80 chipset coupled with a Mali G52 GPU, 6GB of RAM, and 128GB of internal storage. Juicing up this device is a massive 5200mAh battery with support for 18W fast charging. Running on this device is Infinix XOS 7.1 based on Android 10. And to be honest, the UI feels clunky and confusing at times and there are ads across the platform. On the camera side of things, we got a quad rear camera setup consisting of 64 megapixel main, 2 megapixel macro lens, 2 megapixel depth, and a 2 megapixel AI camera. We will put these cameras to the test in our full review, but for now, check out these sample shots. The Infinix Note 8 is priced at 8,490 pesos. Sure, it is affordable, but there are many compromises so that Infinix can achieve this price point. And we will explore more on that in our full review, so stay tuned. So what do you guys think about the Infinix Note 8? Is the price point getting you excited to get this as your next smartphone? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads and be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Arel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.